thing today. Um, I'm excited. Um, I love this place. This is a new place um, that I have by my house. It's called Zayo. It's an Asian place. And it is so delicious. And bless the girl that was making my food because she made it extra big with extra soft, even though I didn't ask her to. So. <coughs> Hope it's still warm. It's a little warm. The sauce is coming off the side. So. noodles and rice because I asked for both. It has tofu. So good. Okay. Ready? I tried to set this video up as fast as possible so my food didn't get cold. It's still a little. Maybe I should put it in the microwave for a minute. I'm going to heat it up a little bit <coughs> in the microwave. Okay, the lid kind of melted in the um, I hope it's hope that didn't ruin it. Let's see. Mm. Now it's warm. That's good. Better warm. too fast that like doesn't go down my throat in time. <coughs> so just at Christmas um I, I just um recorded another mukbang it was probably like, over a week ago now but when I tried to watch her, I couldn't stand, like, myself. I don't know just why. Because I look ugly, so I still need to upload that. But I'm having problems um, with the... I don't know if I'll upload that before I upload this one, but it's not... I'm having problems with the editing. It's a little spicy. Oh, I had a good Christmas. Oh, I eat too fast. I 
I went and saw um, Frozen 2 with my grandnephew and my mom and the rest of my family went and saw Star Wars. I wanted to see Jumanji, but it was all sold out. And at, we were in the front row because of Frozen because the rest was sold out or there wasn't seats together. This one might be so full that you dove in. I like to finish things. <laughs> <coughs> it was good, Frozen 2. Um, my grandnephew is three. So I have a story. No. Um, In their tip jar, I put like three dollars and eighty something cents. It was the leftover because I gave them a fifteen, and that was like, <coughs> well, that's not a lot, but it's a lot when I paid like what eleven dollars for the meal. I put the rest of my fifteen dollars in the tip jar because she gave me extra. And so bless her, like she gave me extra sauce. And I didn't even ask. She gave me a bunch of noodles and rice. like some sort of mango drink. Let me take another bite and I'll tell you the story. So, maybe this was like a week and a half ago. Sorry, let me take one more bite. Okay, I'm totally lying and saying I'm gonna, but I'm like hungry. Noodles are good. I'm just trying to make this video not so long. I need a napkin. Hold on. <coughs> Probably have it on my face. So. Uh, it was maybe a week and a half ago. I was tired from a long day at work. I just... Then my last dog was this big dog that was difficult to do just because he wasn't used to the grooming so he was being difficult and he was really big I had to do him on the floor so I was tired the lady was really nice she gave me like a $30 tip so that was super nice I, I realized at the end I think it was a, a lesbian couple that I wasn't like paying attention until the because the two ladies were waiting, and then she called the other one, like, honey. I'm like, oh, so I thought that was cool. Um, anyways, that's not the story. So, um, so, I'm tired. Um, I come home, I clean up my little kitty's litter boxes. It's super late, like, what, 11 or 12, 11 p.m., 12 a.m. I don't knock the kitty. Um, Kitty be, Kitty's playing with my ring light. Um, I was making my nose run because it's spicy. So, anyways, I'm tired. So, I, um, then I realized before work, I, I knew my, to my, uh, toilet clogged up. And I realized it was because I put cat poop from the litter boxes, a bunch of cat poop from the litter boxes in the toilet that had hardened. Um, which I shouldn't have done, and I believe that's what clogged the toilet. So anyways, when I got home, I'm like, the 
plunger that I have was just like a crap plunger. It didn't work. And I'm, I thought this was a good idea, and now I realize it's stupid not to do this again. And I'm like, maybe it was already like filled up a lot. And I'm like, maybe if I flush it one more time, things will go down. Instead, I'm going to flush in all my poopy. That's probably gross to talk about right now. Water comes up and goes over the toilet all over my floor. It was horrible. Disgusting. So I mopped everything, and then I needed to get... And it was like almost 1 a.m. by this point. I needed to get a, cause I, I looked up on YouTube video how to um how to um unplug a toilet, and this guy showed us that he used like an easy way he did it. It was a certain. It's not just those regular plungers. It's like a black one. I mean, they're black, and they have like divots, and it's just a different kind of plunger that he said worked. So I'm like, okay, I'll go get that one because Walmart uh, in, has one open 24-7. Let me take that another bite. So, oh, sorry. So I'm tired, going at 1 a.m. because I have to get a plunger because I have to go potty. And I can't go potty because the toilet is like completely full. And um, so I'm kind of like dazed out. Um, and I, I always make sure to go the speed limit around where I live because everyone knows that lives here, that lives around here knows a cops make a lot of money around here by pulling people pull over. It's like 30 miles an hour around here. And um, I think most people that live here know cops um, make a lot of money. Like I heard like the city I'm in makes so much money because co cops like can constantly pull people over. So I always make sure to go the speed limit. So anyways, there I was going to turn right um, to go down to where Walmart was and um, I was going to speed limit because uh, yeah I made sure to do that anyways I wasn't I was like dozed out because I was like so tired anyways so I don't even remember this but I was turning right um, and I got pulled a cop pulled me over and said I didn't make a complete stop on my right turn or he just said you went past it, which when you turn right, you have to at least slow down to stop to turn right. And I'm thinking I just did like a rolling, I didn't make a jerk complete stop to the right. So anyways, I was just done with the day. Stupidest thing to pull someone over for. Um, I've never gotten out of a ticket. I mean, I feel like I should have. I'm like, when you open the door, it's like, oh, it's just trying to get a plunger. That's all I said. And, um, but I've never gotten out of a ticket. I heard people get out of tickets, and I feel like maybe if I told them the story, that would help. But I'm like, um, it, what are my uh, brake lights? Or the brake lights aren't working because um, my brake light switch is is um, broken or out, not the actual brake lights. So I bought the brake light switch, but it's like going to be fifty six dollars to replace it. So I haven't got it done because it's expensive. Anyway, so he um, I he um, he's like when he rolled I rolled it down. He's like. Um, so do you know why I pulled you over to get today? And I'm like, because my brake lights are out. And he's like, no. Um, you just blazed, or you just went past your right turn. So stupid. And so he didn't even notice my lights. So I was just done with the day, and so, so stupid. I don't have money, extra money to pay for a ticket. 
I don't know how much it's going to be. And I was just like thinking about the money, like, I don't have like extra money to pay a ticket now. And then it's not going to be a record. So I'm, I was being nice. But then when he um, went into the back, like, to his car, I just started bawling. And I was just so upset. Hi, kitty. Um, and I was holding the registration. Not the insurance, but the registration, because I thought that's what he needed. And he's like, oh, I don't need that insurance. So I was just, like, so upset. I just ripped it up. And I was just bawling. So by the time he came back to me, I was, like, pissed. Um, so anyways, I wasn't really rude to him. Well, I was, uh, I was very upset and he's like, um, so I'm like, so I just said, the way I showed I was pissed, I'm like, so how much, how much, um, how much do I owe? Or how much, how much am I going to have to pay? And he's like, um, I don't, um, know that, or I don't know that, I don't know how you said that exactly. So I wasn't trying to be rude, but I just like was so built up with tension and upsetness, like. I didn't say anything, but when he, like, handed me back my, um, <coughs> driver's license and paper, I just was, like, grabbed it out of his hand, like, very angrily, and then, um, I was just, I was very upset, and then I just couldn't contain how upset I was when he made me sign this thing, so I'm, like, I did the crappiest signature, and then I, like, when he said you could go, I just sped off, like, super fast, and then, but then I went to the exact speed limit, so I wasn't speeding. I was so pissed. And I just went into the Walmart parking lot and just bawled my eyes. I, I was just so upset. I'm like, I just wanted to, like, I was just so upset. Just bawled. The only way I later that night. I try to get over the sadness that now I have a ticket to pay, expensive ticket. I'm like, the, the only way I got myself to like calm down is like, I'm like, hopefully they'll let me pay it in small amounts over time and I don't have to pay it right now. So that finally got me to calm down, but yeah, it was not positive. I thought, I think that's a stupid reason to pull someone over. I'm not, I don't even know. So I posted that, um, someone on my friends on Facebook posted that they just got pulled over for, and they said that it was their fault. They were speeding super, super fast. And then I posted under them, like, because I got the ticket just right around the time he did. So I'm like, oh yeah, I got a ticket and I explained why. And he replied back, yeah, when my, because he was in my ward in the church that I was in. So he lived near me, obviously, in the boundaries, like close to me. And he's like, yeah. Um, um, when, before we moved out of where we live, um, area, he was like, my wife got, um, pulled over and got a ticket for the exact same thing. Was, I think it was probably maybe in the same spot, because I think a cop just sits there and waits for people that don't, that roll and don't stop all the way. She got a ticket for the exact same thing. Um, it's just stupid. And then I told my mom about it. She got pulled over there for the exact same thing. And I think it was in the exact same spot. But um, she had my niece and my grandnephew and the baby in the car. And so the I think she's like, that's why. He didn't give her a ticket. He gave her a warning, my mom. But I never get a ticket. So they, I guess they assume because I'm single and I deserve tickets. I just think that's a really stupid thing to give tickets for. Oh. And it was like 1 a.m. Like, there was no other cars around. Anyway, sorry about that complaining. I feel, no, I saw, I have to go to court about it now. I guess I'm eating this whole thing.
I'm only eating a little breakfast today. Or it's actually only nine ten. <coughs> um, <coughs> I think my last mug thing was like midnight. But um. I'm trying to save right now enough to pay my mortgage, hopefully by Wednesday. So I'm not trying to spend any money. So I'm, I ran, I just realized my progesterone pill is out. Last night was the last pill. And I was going to call the day get it refilled, but I didn't realize the pharmacy I get it at closed at 2, so I didn't get it in time. So I was going to go to the health food store just to see if I could get like a natural progesterone to have until I can get it filled on Monday. But they were expensive, like the least expensive was $27 and I need to save my money for my mortgage. So I didn't get it, but then I ended up getting cookies and vegan cheese and vegan jerky, which my total was only like $17, but I'm like, oh well. Still trying to not spend any money. And then I got this. It'd be nice to live just not having to worry about money, you know? Like, I can just buy food. I can just buy what I need without worrying. Like, sorry, I have to hold out on some stuff I need so I can pay my mortgage and bills. I'm full. I'm really full now, all of a sudden. Um. I could have paid my mortgage, but I spent money on people's Christmas presents because I wanted to give people Christmas presents. So. bought a few clothing items I got this yeah I was I felt like I'd stop buying clothing items but there's some cute things on American Eagle my favorite online stores to shop at for clothes are this isn't a sponsored <laughs> obviously are American Eagle and Express this is from American Eagle it's so soft I wore it on Christmas I'm wearing it again. Oh, full. I won't be hungry like for the rest of the night. Oh my goodness, I'm so full. I was gonna eat a cookie in this video. I bought these really good looking cookies and they're vegan. I'll try to eat it for the video. Yeah, I have to go potty. So I'm eating. Oh my goodness, I'm so full. Ugh. So full. Oh, I'm right out. Let me get a water, hold on. Oh my goodness, I'm so full. Whew. That was that was a lot. this video shorter it's gonna be like 30 minutes at least try to shove this in my mouth I'm a little bit black this part it's really not spicy Leggings. 
can wear this tomorrow. They usually like wear the same outfit two days in a row when I change outfits. When I'm at home, that's what I usually do. Like, because I work Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, so except the days I work, I wear new clothes each day because they get girls from hair. So, like on Monday and Tuesday and Friday, I so usually, so maybe it's like three days. Well, sometimes depends what I'm wearing. If I want to get it messed up at work, sometimes I wear the same leggings. But if like I'm not gonna wear this to work, I don't want it ruined. I just usually wear not my least favorite clothes to work because they get all. And I wear a thing to cover myself for the dogs. Just, um. What was I saying? So like, I um, don't work Wednesday and Thursday, so I wear the same outfit Wednesday and Thursday, and then I don't work Saturday and Sunday, so I work, wear the same outfit Saturday and Sunday. Uh, let me get this cookie, I'll be right back. Cookies look good. Um, they're vegan. When I saw it, I'm like, wow, they're vegan. It says it right on there, vegan. Okay, we're going to try this. Looks good. There's like filling in the middle. Okay, ready? It's not going to be as good because I'm so full. Hmm. You know what's really good? Making a chocolate chip cookie or a cookie. Putting it in the microwave so it's all soft. And then putting ice cream on top. And then eating it together. So good. Like, that would be good if I did that. Right now I'm full, but I'll show you the best vegan ice cream ever. This is so delicious. So delicious. So, I think... I think I'll try end the video here. I don't want to make it super, super long. Maybe I'll eat this later and be warm enough in the microwave and eat it with ice cream or something. So sorry, I don't know if I, t I'm sorry if I was negative in this video. Uh, yeah, I don't want to make this video super, super long. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, thank you all for watching and liking and subscribing and your kind comments. And um, I hope you have a good rest, a wonderful rest of the day, night, whenever you watch this. Okay, love you all. God bless.